We can discuss this question from number 1380 lucky number in matrix. The problem of statements states that you are given an m cross n matrix of distant numbers. Distant is very important in this question. And then you have to return all the lucky numbers in the matrix in any order. So what is actually a lucky number? A lucky number is any element in the matrix such that it is the minimum element in its row and the maximum in its column. So what does that mean? Let's see the example. This here. This is the matrix I've drawn in this question. So it says that it is the minimum in its row and maximum in its column. So as you can see the answer of this is 15. 15 is minimum in its row and maximum in its column. So because the constraints are very low in this question, this is the first question uh, in the contest. Uh, so we can just do a brute force method. We first iterate over all its like all rows and find the minimum in each row because that element should be minimum. So let's assume we iterate over this row and find that 3 is the minimum. Then we move in this column and check whether this is the maximum in this column. No, this is not. So this is not our answer. Then we find the minimum in minimum in this row. Minimum in this row is 9. Is it maximum? No. This this is minimum in this row and it is maximum in this column, yes. So 15 is the only answer. How do we understand this logic? You have to just iterate over all rows and find what is the minimum element in that row and then check whether that element is the maximum. So the code is pretty simple. We first out we first find out the dimensions. And then after finding out the dimensions, we will see for each row we are iterating, we are finding the minimum in that row uh, and we are storing the index. So we are for each row, for each row, what we are doing it? We are finding what is the minimum element and we are storing the value of the minimum element and its index. Then after coming out of that, we will find the maximum element of the given index. Which so the distant value come here. So when we find that when moving in this row, this is the minimum indexed value. Then we find the maximum of this column. That's all, that's only what I'm finding. We, I've stored the minimum index index, the minimum value index, and then for that index, I'm finding, I'm iterating over the column. So for the column, finding the maximum. And when we find the maximum in the column, we have to check that that maximum of that given column is equal to the minimum because let's see we, we find out that this 3 is the minimum of this row and 3 occurs at the index 0 then I find out for the 0th row column what is the maximum of this column and I find out the maximum is 15 so 3 is not equal to 15 the answer is not so it is not in the final answer then I find out what is the minimum of this row 9 and what is the maximum of this column 15 so it is not equal then I find out what is the minimum of this row 15 what is the maximum of this column 15 so they are equal so I push that in the final array push the lucky number in the final array and returning the final error. This code is running perfectly fine. I hope you understand the logic and the code. This is a simple problem. If you have any doubts, please mention it in the comment box. I will try to rectify it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one.